Today I'll show you how you can find your lost phone if it's stolen, how you can track it. It can be an Android device or it can be iPhone, it can be iPad, it can be a tablet, even the watches because they have same accounts and iOS and Android system you use and uh, how you can find out your IMI number and if you don't have any IMI number how you can see the information in your accounts and uh, there's no problem you can definitely find that information all associated to your account so let's just go ahead and see how you can find it let's just jump into what exactly IMEI number is it's basically a 15 digit number and it's associated to any device which is connected to our cellular network so you can find it on your phone bill as well so if you can log into your AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile account most probably you can find it from there you can see it on the device and also if you have a new phone you can find it on the phone box or maybe if you have Android device which is um, you can find it off, uh, b um, at the back of the panel so if you remove your battery if the device allows you to remove the battery then you can see it from there and if you still have your phone with you you can just dial in star hash zero six hash and you can note down your IMA number so just in case if you lost your phone but what if you don't have IMA number and you need to find your phone I'll show you how to do that as well for our first scenario so if you have an Android device it can be a tablet watch or a phone so if you have lost it so I would recommend first step would be to play the sound so if you if it's within the reach if it's in the house or in a car or in the office maybe you can find it by playing a sound so second step is if you have lost it and you are un unable to find it I would recommend to lock that device and also put a display message so if somebody find it or somebody picks it up they can see the message you can send your uh, you can put your email address or any other alternate contact number so they can call you or reach you at that contact information you provided on the display message but if you have still not found that phone and if it's still lost or maybe it's stolen then the third step is just erase all the data and the content you have so uh, we all know that uh, everything uh, all the private information credit card information our photos and everything is there so definitely we want to keep that privacy so by erasing that you can uh, delete all that option and delete everything you have on your phone let's just go over the scenario where you have a apple product which has ios on it so how you can track it is you go to icloud.com link is in, in the description below so you, basically you do the same thing you track your phone from the icloud but if you still can't find it this is the first step you try to play the sound see if it's within the reach maybe you have lost it or uh, in your bag or if it's in a home or somewhere else it's within the reach if it's not step two is you you put it on a loss mode and you can display the message with your contact information the third step is uh, you, if you totally lost it then you can totally erase it so if you have lost your phone and there is no hope you can find it so um, all major uh, provider uh, have a support option so you can go to AT&T if you have AT&T and uh, there's uh, uh, much information you can find for the find and lost phone Similarly, if you go to T-Mobile, lost or stolen devices, so you can uh, call them and you can report them. They can help you find the phone or maybe track it once it's uh, active or once it's on. Similarly, if you go to Verizon, lost phone, so there's a support from Verizon. So every major carrier provides support if you lost your phone or maybe it's stolen. So definitely recommend uh, once uh, you cannot find your phone, go to their website and there's information you can find. Three. So what if you don't have any IMI number and you can't really track anything? So uh, so the thing you can do if you have an Android device, you can go to Google uh, dashboard and you can see the list of devices 
and um, all the devices on uh, any um, any account you are associated with that device you can definitely find your EMI number here if you have an Apple phone so definitely um, there's an option for iTunes go to de device preferences and devices you can find your IMI phone uh, IMI number there so uh, this is the way you can find Android and iOS devices IMI number three so if you are unable to find your phone if you are unable to track your phone then the last option is you want your data to get retrieved or restored on the new device you get so uh, this is how you can do it on your android phone you go to system you go to advanced and then you i would highly recommend doing a backup so once you have a backup and you connect your new device to your existing email or the account it'll automatically ask you to restore it from the backup so definitely for the android phone it's recommended and this is how you can get your data back on the newer phone if you are not able to track your phone and if you are not able to find your phone if it's a apple product ios product so you can do it from the itunes you go there and you do a backup and you can also do the restore as well so everything which was on your old phone will be restored on your uh, newer phone i will upload a video how to back up and restore your phone including the android and the apple phones so i hope this video was informative for you guys keep on watching uh, thank you thank you for watching the video guys please like and subscribe my channel and also don't forget to hit that bell icon so every time i upload a video you guys get the notification as well once again thank you guys for watching the video